Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Tuesday weather update, recorded on April the 9th. We're tracking the very heavy rainfall Westland over the next couple of days, some really big rainfall totals for there. And also what's happening to the rest of the country. Lots of headlines about this big storm, but there's not really a storm. There's a low developing behind this very powerful high pressure zone. Now that's all encouraging this subtropical airflow to feed into the west coast of the South Island. In fact, it starts way up here in the Solomon Islands and you can see it drifting all the way down until it reaches that kind of funnel. You notice how the wind funnels down here around Fiordland and Westland. That's the area where the rain's being pushed into a narrow spot and with the mountains in the way and this big blocking high out to the east, a couple of things all working together to hold up that rain and enhance it, make it very heavy. So there's some pretty big rain warnings for the west coast. Elsewhere, the rain that's coming in, I think, will be very welcome by a number of regions that are desperate for more wet weather after what has been a dry start to 2024. Lastly, it is warm at the moment, subtropical in many places, and if you don't have that, you've got a warm northerly wind blowing. The next few days ahead are going to be warm. So here's the cloud map and precipitation for the next 48 hours, starting from this evening at 6 p.m. Rain here. This is the main zone of heavy rain on the west coast. Now watch as I animate it. Next 48 hours, you'll see that rain barely moves, it slides around a wee bit. And when it ends here on Thursday evening, all the way from Fiordland up to Nelson, the whole west coast has got that wet weather, low pressure just spinning off the side here. It's not a big storm, but it is making stormy weather. And you've got the rain band up here to the north with windy nor'easters, could be gale in some exposed places as that system all moves through. There'll be pockets of wind around New Zealand that will be quite strong and possibly damaging. That's all due to the fact that you've got the squash zone between the low and the exiting high, and then on top of that are mountains and ranges, which sort of squeezes, squeezes it all together. So tonight, this is the main area of heavy rain, basically from Hokitika to Haast, uh, and that's the area where we're going to be seeing the heaviest rain in the days ahead. So it's just a coincidence that the 6 p.m. map tonight highlights that area that's most exposed to the wet weather in the days ahead. By lunchtime Wednesday, still in the same spot over here on the west coast. That's the heavy stuff that just won't quit. Whereas around you, you've got patchy kind of rain that's just the usual sort of stuff. And in the North Island, a few showers, northeasterly winds. The northerly winds will really start to pick up as the low out here deepens. It peaks on Thursday, uh, that low. So let's have a look at the next 48 hours, uh, sorry, 24 hours from tonight. There is that heavy rain. And as we go through across Wednesday, it barely moves. So I just want to show you that more highlighted imagery of the West Coast rain event, mostly here in Westland. So if you're further up around Westport, it's not looking quite so bad at this stage. And the north of the country, mostly cloudy with those windy conditions. So on Thursday, the low is at its deepest, 986 hectopascals. Windiest weather in this zone right across here between the departing high and the incoming low. It's Stormy, but I wouldn't call the lower storm necessarily uh, because it doesn't have gale force winds all the way around it. And the gale force winds are likely to be, like I say, in this kind of squash zone here between the low and the high going out. So windy weather moves around the country. The precise angle of that wind makes all the difference. And that's very hard to lock in this far out with such a messy low pressure zone. But there will be pockets of gale force winds around the country Wednesday and Thursday. And then we get to lunchtime Friday, and while it looks nasty, it's not quite so bad now for the west coast. The pale blue means that the rain is much lighter. Drizzly falls, heavier falls, uh, more likely in the yellows and the greens that you see further to the north here. So conditions ease over the South Island, and as that low moves in, the winds start to ease as well. Could still be a bit blustery. The um, isobars through the Southern Alps certainly show that, and the rain in the north here will be very welcome in the far north, in Northland, Auckland, Waikato, Coromandel, Great Barrier Island, that's a place that doesn't get mentioned very often, very dry out there at the moment too. So it's not all bad news, there's a lot of good news baked into this big system coming through, but we obviously, obviously have to be aware of those Westland severe weather risks, and those um, severe weather risks could expand. So please do stay up to date with the Met Service warnings and watches. You'll find them all over our website and our new app, or obviously just go to metservice.com, you'll find it there. Saturday, high pressure, the new system moving in from Australia. Windy southwesters, so a few showers around, but tricky to mow the lawns for some places, but you should be able to get some laundry dry once that patchy kind of rain wears off, certainly by the end of the day, because look at Sunday, back to high pressure, back to calmer conditions 
around New Zealand. Big storm down here, nothing to worry about for us. It'll encourage more windy westerlies back, keeping our temperatures above average in both islands. Let's have a look now at the rainfall. Here's how we start. For the next 24 hours, we're already into the 200 millimeter mark. So that's the area with the heaviest rain. Fast forward it through now to uh, the weekend, and you'll start to see goes very quickly into that red zone. That's 400 millimeters plus. So that's the main area of concern. And around it, 400 millimeters at a minimum at sea level. There'll be some areas that have double that higher up, maybe even getting closer to one meter of rain over the next few days. So that is significant. Some good rainfall over the North Island and hopefully just the right amount for the top of the South. Although this area here around Takaka, Golden Bay, that's getting up to um, warning criteria and beyond it and potentially uh, slips and that sort of problem. Let's now go up to the northern, uh, well, north of New Zealand. I was going to say the northern hemisphere, but I mean the South Pacific, north of New Zealand. For the next seven days animation, let's kick it off. You can see here from Wednesday as we move through across the coming days, low pressure moves through the Cook Islands region. Otherwise, easterly winds are the main feature. Most of those showers up around Samoa and around um, French Polynesia. Here is the rainfall animation for the next week ahead in the tropics, and you can see that low dumping 200 millimetres or more around Rarotonga. But elsewhere, you're in that gold shading, maybe a little heavier here around Samoa, where you could, you could see 80 to 100 millimetres of rain. But it's not looking too bad for Tonga, Fiji, or even Port Vila, but the further north you are in Vanuatu, the heavier the rain gets, although you're getting up to the Solomon Islands at that point. So there we go. That is the rainfall for the next seven days. Hello to Norfolk Island. I know you need some rain. You might get a little bit out of that system coming into the New Zealand area. Fingers crossed for you. And that's all from me today. Back again tomorrow, Wednesday, as we take a closer look at what's going on along the west coast of New Zealand.